Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, I will show you how to create the Save the Beach game on Active Presenter 8. In this game, players are required to answer questions to clear the rubbish until the beach becomes clean. This game contains 10 slides including one welcome slide, one content slide, six question slides, one congratulations slide and one game over slide. In the insert tab, select new slide to add more new slides. For content, congratulations and game over slides, select blank. For question slides, select question. Now, let's fill slides with an image. In the background fill section of the slide properties tab, select image fill, then choose one image from your computer. Click the apply to all button to apply the new background image for other slides. Remember to uncheck the auto advance option. So that the presentation doesn't jump to the next slide immediately, when the current slide ends. For easy editing, you should rename slides. Right click slide. Select Slides and Titles. Double-click each entry to edit. Now, it's time to work with slides one by one. In the Welcome slide, click to add the title. Then, open the Insert tab, and insert the Play button. Additionally, you can add the entrance effects to the text captions and the play button. When players click the play button, the presentation navigates to the next slide. So, add the on-click event to this button. Then add the go forward action. Optionally, you can add a mouse click sound to it. The content slide contains rubbish images. Open the insert tab, click the image button to insert images you've prepared. When players click one rubbish image object, it leads to the corresponding question slide. So, add the on-click event to it. Add the go to slide action to the on-click event. Select slide question 1. After players answer correctly, it backs to the content slide, and the selected rubbish image disappears. To get it done, firstly, you need to create number variables. Here, number variables are used to assign points when players answer correctly. Select variables in the Home tab. Click the plus button to add new variables. Then, in the Unload event, add the Hide Object action. With the condition that if correct 1 is equal to 1. Do the same steps with other rubbish image objects. To save time, you can copy and paste the same events, actions. Now turn to question slides. For easy looking, let's change the background image. Active Presenter provides you with 11 types of questions. Click any question icon to insert a question. For the question slide 1, I create a multiple choice question. You can see how to create multiple choice questions video for details. When a question is inserted, the default events, actions are added automatically. You can delete unnecessary events, actions if you want. If players answer correctly, a correct sound will play. The variable is assigned to 1. 
and it backs to the content slide. By default, players get one point for each correct answer. If players pass all of six questions, the presentation will navigate to the congratulations slide. To get it done, you need to set the condition. If app quiz score is equal to six for this action. If players answer wrongly, an incorrect sound will play. And it goes to the game over slide. Add a mouse click sound for the radio button. Do the same steps with other question slides. Regarding the congratulations slide, insert a text caption and images like this. Then, insert congratulations sound. When the presentation navigates to the game over slide, it allows players to replay. So, you need to insert a try again button. Then, add events, actions for it. To make the game become more engaging, you can insert background music for it. As you can see, the background music is inserted in the welcome slide only. To make it play over slides, right click it. Select play over multiple slides, top layer. In case the duration of the background music is shorter than that of the presentation, loop it. See how to loop background music video for details. Adding transition between slides helps the presentation go smoothly. Open the transitions tab, choose one type of effect. For some types of transitions, you can customize the effect direction. The transition effect appears on the timeline pane like this. Drag the blue diamond to adjust its duration. Let's see the preview. Thank you for watching.